It's their job to, to, to speak producer or, or to give me producer speak. And it's my job to make music out of that. And some guys can, can go on and on and pontificate forever and lead you all over, you know, hell and back. And some guys are just succinct. And those three guys are great at it. You know, I mean, I, I know I'm good at writing music. Okay, that's why you want to put this down, because I've done this a bunch of times and it's stuck. And I'm not being humble hard here. I'm really lucky. These three guys just give you, they give you the exact right info to go do your job. It's not standalone art. It's art on other art. So, you know, that guy could have sent me off, you know, into the <laughs> ditch. But that guy, three times, that guy has sent me right down to Main Street. Almost all the time. First of all, you know, I'm irreverent. And, and there's no for fluorescent lighting anywhere in this place. You know, and I'm a musician. And I'm from the Valley. And I'm a rock and roll guy that learned how to read, write, and orchestrate, and conduct. Okay? Basically, go screw yourself. You know, I mean, that's kind of how I got to feel in order to write this stuff. I, I, I got to have fun with it. I can't, it's not serious. It's weird. Nobody's curing cancer here, or, you know. This is not brain surgery. Um, there's 12 of them, and the 13th one's an octave. And Bach did everything anyway. So you can't sit here and go, man, you know, my art is so, get over it. Just go write, go write your music. Now, I know it means a lot to other people, and, and, and I can kind of process that, but I can't do it that way. I can't sit there going, you know, with all these dramatic feelings. You know, I just got to do my job. These three guys have been very successful. Is there a commonality to why they, why they have been successful? Smart, hardworking, extremely honest, extremely moral, tough as hell, all three of them. Um, they're like me. There's a reason we're in television. We're, we're can-do guys. We, you know, we're can-do. Absolutely, let's go. And they're all like that. They're all hardworking guys. Cannell, I mean, Cannell's unbelievable how much this guy can churn out. And Botch goes, stay focused and just work, work, work. And Dick, Dick Wolf can handle more phone calls than any human being ever born. The guy can handle more crisis and more maniacal behavior by networks and actors and directors and, every, you know. See, my job is, I'll give you my job in a nutshell. Those guys sit at like an apothecary cabinet with all these little drawers, the network drawer, the agent drawer, the packager drawer, the, the actor drawer, the director drawer. The, every drawer they got has a fire in it. Every week it's that way. And my job, my sworn duty to these three big brothers is to give them one drawer that doesn't have any sparks or smoke or nothing. They go, well, that's, that's his thing. He'll let me. And that's me, you know, that's what I do.